and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on everybody, it's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guide, and today I'm going to be going over the market. The market has crashed pretty bad, and you know what the sad part about all this is? Like, what's completely just disgusting is that the market crashed pretty bad, and the servers have been down for a day. No, barely anyone's been able to play. We've been struggling to even get onto this game, and the market still crashed. So all I can think of is when everyone gets on, it should get even worse. Now, what has caused the market to crash even more? A 95 overall power pass, a 93 to 94 overall power pass, Game changer packs, coin quick sells, platinum quick sells, and level up grind coins that we're just accumulating, as well as all these Redux cards that have been tossed into pack and the increased pack odds. Now, my my assumption is that people are selling off a lot of their 92 to 93 overall cards, a few amount, because they know that they can get them as a power pass now as people are trying to sell them. I think it might come back up eventually once people are done with this whole sell-off phase of their older power-ups, or should I say of their older cards that they plan to power up instead. But I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that is the reason behind it. Now, tons of things have come down. We're going to go over all that in this video, as per usual. Now, I think it could get even worse for a little bit before it gets better, just because people haven't really been able to get on the servers, and eventually people are going to be able to get on, and that's when it should probably get worse. But guys, before we get into this video, just want to let you guys know to see 25 days of Poodmas. I will be announcing the winner at our 1030 content vid, if, that, if the servers ever work and they get the content out. Should be on then. So, all you guys got to do is enter is like the video, comment down below the secret word, and... Your console and then subscribe to the channel once you do those things you're entered to win good luck now let's get into the video so let's head on over to the 86 to 87s actually start at the 88 to 89 so we've got plenty of high quality stuff to go over today so let's start a little bit higher 88 to 89 is 47k now i believe they've been sitting around here pretty consistently like i always say the best time to find 88s oh wow 37k i just want to do the training value conversion i always get i'm always intrigued by the value of training you get from these 2460 right no it's 2640 Hold up. Divided by 2640. 14, 14 coins per training. Now remember, this isn't even flashback day, a veteran day, or heavyweight day. If you get these guys on one of those days, you'll probably get them for like low 30k. And you can probably get them for an amazing deal. Now, even just to play with, you can get pretty good cards nowadays to build your team. You probably built a pretty solid 88 team for pretty cheap, considering the value of these cards at this point in the game. Not all of them, some of them still retain some value. But for the most part, the consensus is that you're gonna get them for below 50k to 45k. So, don't worry, now let's get over to the 90s and 91s. Now, I want to see the Redux market real quick from the 91s. I don't know if any new Reduxes would affect these, but let's go find out if they did. 85k for McCaffrey. So, it does appear that they come down quite a bit more, because McCaffrey was like 100k, 105. Now he's 85k, which although it only look, it's only 15, 20k down. You have to remember that 15, 20k down in a 100k card is like one-fifth of its price. So, it is kind of a big deal for these cards. Now... They probably, I don't know if these came down because people are, a lot of people are pulling a lot of packs of Reduxes right now. They want to see if they can get them. So inevitably, they're probably pulling a lot of these cards as well as increased rates probably mean more of these pulls. And there was Weekend League Rewards not too long ago. I don't know if that all attributes to all of it, but um, that's definitely part of it. So I probably should have sold my other Redux cards by now. I definitely messed up not doing that because I'm still holding some. I think I'm still holding the Dan Deodorf somewhere in my binder. Definitely got to sell that pretty soon. Let's go check out the regular market with the Legends and see what they're going for. Let's see what some base legends are looking like. Okay, so John Elway, 88k. Yep. Steve Young below 100k. Mawai, 100k. Alan Page. Erlocker, Reed. Reggie White. Kevin Green, Munoz. Pretty much, if you want any base legend, you can get the majority of them for below 200k. But actually, no, you can get the majority for below 150k. Lawrence Taylor and Reed are kind of set in the upper limits right here. Owens. Pretty much every top... 90 overall edge you could probably get for below 150 with the most of them being around the 100k range all below 150 a lot of them are on the 100k range really really good value right now for legend cards guys if you power up all these cards you can make a pretty solid legend team that has potential to be upgraded with nfl 100 and ultimate legends and christmas legends so there's still potential to upgrade quite a, a fair amount of these cards to be honest with you guys i would definitely recommend if you are more of a budgety team you're not so much a god squad Picking up some cheap legend cards, definitely not a bad idea, especially if they drop this NFL 100 packs today around 1030. We're still waiting because EA servers are effed up right now, so we do not know what will be going on with them. But let's head on over to the next bracket of cards, which should be the 92 to 93 overall cards. Let's go check out, I want to check out the Redux market first, and then I'm going to head over to the Legends. So sitting around 147, those are definitely cheaper than they used to be. Series Redux. So, we're, okay, so Avery Williams for 166k, Cooper Cup for 166k. That's definitely really cheap. Cooper Cup, I think, just came out yesterday, too, with the Series 4 update. 
166k is pretty cheap for a redux card as well as alvin kamara obviously these cards weren't great so it does make a little bit of sense there christian kirk wasn't horrible though he's pretty cheap brennan scarlet aaron Rodgers. Well, at least Aaron Rodgers is cheap, him and his kickoff, so when it's time to finally upgrade him where he gets like a good card that you guys want, he shouldn't take too much to power up all the way. Now, some of these Blitz cards are still retaining a little bit of value as a Redux. I don't imagine that lasts much longer. Once everyone gets on the servers, he should crash down a little bit more. So we head on down. Zeke's below 300k. I remember some people bought him for like a million coins. That was crazy. The word for today is Angel. All you gotta do is comment down below Angel. Comment your console, like the video, and subscribe to the channel you are to win. Good luck, boys. Enjoy the servers, and hopefully they're back up for you guys to actually play this game. Crazy. Vic's pretty cheap, too. If you guys are a big Vic fan, you, you have him already. Honestly, picking him up and powering him all the way wouldn't be the worst idea, because he probably will get a good Christmas card or some kind of card in the near future. That's going to be pretty OP. I prefer Lamar for this year, just because Lamar's cheap. He's going to have the faster track speed, as he already has a... Like, Vic's next card, powered up with speed and everything, probably only have, like, a 93. Lamar Jackson currently has a 93. So Vic's always going to be, I mean, Lamar's always going to be slightly ahead speed-wise. And it appears that they're going to give him better throwing stats too. So I don't really see, I see any smaller, any lefty. I see like Lamar has the fast track to being the better mobile quarterback this year. If we're going to make any switch, it probably looks like a Pat Mahomes or escape artist that might drop sometime during the Zero Chill promo. Now, Aaron Donald, Deion Kittle, and them, they all kind of stay consistent. That's probably because a lot of people still to this point value them and I, I can understand why i mean they're still part of the best power ups in the game Dion, aaron donald moss and kittle there's some some of the cards you want to power up they still hold a lot of a lot of demand for them now lamar surprisingly isn't that cheap but that's only because i see one up here i'd imagine if people can get more on the server and stuff he should come down quite a bit more in price now let's go check out the legends real quick what are these 90 base legends looking like 92k for ty law Keith Bullock. Ty Law is honestly a decent cornerback. I mean, if powered up and chemmed up, he's going to have all above 90. Probably a decent all-around budget type cornerback for a non-god squad. John Henderson's pretty cheap. Ed Tuttle Jones is pretty cheap. Gene Upshaw is pretty cheap. Andre Reid, guys, is a beastly wide receiver. So you guys know, if you power and chem him up all the way, going to be pretty beastly. Going to be like that Redux Randy Moss for a much cheaper price. So letting you guys know in case you are looking at him. Christian Okoye, definitely a must cop at some point. His impact blocking, lead blocking, speed, and run blocks is going to be great for scum kicks gonna be great for lead blocks definitely gonna need that at some point i definitely gotta do that i've been way behind on picking him up but i'm waiting for his price to come down a little bit more brian ballsworth i think also got a redux card so he's kind of relevant now as far as that card goes now let's go over to the 94 to 95 category it's funny i always i always end up going in there with legends filter still on matt burke's the only legend that still sits in there and i don't know why they gave him that was a while ago they gave him that card, right? Yeah, because NFL 100 now for quite a few weeks now. So as you can see, Michael Irvin's about to fall into the 300 or below K range. Now, I don't know why he's crashing so bad. I do know that NFL 100 wide receivers do come out, I believe, next week more than likely. So that's going to crash him. But I don't know if they're pre-selling in anticipation for that. So Michael Irvin's still good value, guys. If he goes below 300K into the 200K range, still powered up and timed up. He's still one of the best receivers in the game right now. Probably the best receiver in the game right now. Right up there with Brandon Cooks and Torrey Holt. Still amazing. I don't know if I'm going to want him because there's going to be guys like Jerry Rice, Randy Moss, or something coming out next week. So you have to anticipate that you're probably going to want those guys over Michael Irvin, but he's still a decent value. Devin McCoy is finally coming down. He was never worth it to begin with. He just had the rarity effect of being the Series 3 master. That's about it. People were overselling him. Barry Sanders is back in the 400K range after uh, eclipsing over 500K. Chris Johnson, he's kind of like Twin Barry. It's up to you on who you prefer. They're all in the similar range. I don't know who I'd rather have. I mean, I'd probably rather have Barry. I think he's a little bit better. But Christian Johnson is definitely up there. Now, a guy that is crashing down, let's go over to NFL 100s. A few of them are like hundreds of K, hundreds of K, or 100 Ks or more. I should say, I don't know how to say that, but you guys get the point. They're down quite a bit. So, Barry Sanders is almost on 100 K from yesterday. Um, Let's see. Lawrence Taylor, I just saw his ass. Where do you go? Lawrence Taylor is down from about 700 K, 680 K. I just saw him for 550 before. He's definitely coming down quite a bit. He's coming up a little bit right now, but he was just coming down. He was like close to 680k uh, base. He was 550 before. Now, another guy is Deion Sanders. Deion Sanders was originally like 700k, 680k. Now he's 595. I don't know why all these cards are coming down so much. And it's weird because the, the packs haven't even come out yet. I think when the NFL 100 packs do drop at some point today, if the servers ever hold up for any A, you can get the content out. If once the servers go up and those packs are out, guys. It's probably going to be a great time to buy NFL 100 players, just letting you guys know. Devin Hester, below the 500k range at this point. or oh, below the 600k, into the 500k range. Definitely a decent buy. Same with Rod Woodson. Same with Willie Lanier. Willie Lanier's been there. Ronnie Lott in the 500k range. 
Eric Dickerson almost back in the 500k range after taking a massive skyrocket in price for the last few weeks. Guys, there's some solid, solid options here. Just letting you guys know. Decent buys, Ronnie Lott, Deion Sanders, Rob Woodson, Eric Dickerson, Barry Sanders, um, Lawrence Taylor, Reggie White. Anyone else? I think I covered all the ones I want to talk about. Devin Hester, they're all going to the 500k range finally, so that is better pricing. Now, when the NFL 100 packs do drop, essentially, if people get decent stuff, they could come down even more. And then at that rate, you can get them probably mid 500s, which is a great value for most of these cards. And it also, well, it also went down also because of the power pass, like I said. That definitely didn't help. A lot of people are just like, oh, okay, I have a power pass. Okay, I can sell my Dion. I can sell my Lawrence, whatever. But we also do kind of get three free NFL 100 guys, if you think about it. We get one from the solos, one from the power pass, and then the 95 power pass you could probably use on the newer NFL 100s that will be coming out with next week or so. That should probably be 95s. But that is about it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, it is the 25 days of Pudmas. All you gotta need to enter is like the video, comment down below the secret word and your console, and subscribe to the channel once you do all those things you are entered to win. Good luck, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.